human revolution and the ideals that we represented. You could imagine how much would they have liked to sit in the American television, any of us, any Cuban intelligent officer, to make a denounce of the revolution, to make a denounce of Fidel, of Raul, and all that our people represent. From the very beginning, they made different offers on that direction. And when the five of us refused, when, when they realized that the five of us would not break, they throw us in solitary confinement for the first 17 months of imprisonment. After that, in different prisons, we were taken yet again for more periods <coughs> to the punishment of the prisoners called the whole. Up until the last moment of our imprisonment, they never, they kept dreaming of the idea that one of the five would break. That was their wild dream. And they will never forgive us for that. That's why Olga Salanueva, the wife of René Gonzalez, was arrested and thrown in, in a prison cell for three months. Their four-month-old baby, the grandmother had to came from Cuba to take her back home. That's why they never got a visa for her again to visit him in prison. The same happened with my wife. My wife never been in the, in the US and she was denied a visa through all the time of our, our imprisonment. And you ask why? It is because they fear the ideas that we represented. They fear the example that we represented. And that example goes beyond Cuba and the Cuban Revolution. They knew that some of us had been combatants in Africa. They knew that we were a new generation of revolutionaries. So the fact that we kept firm in our ideals went against their script. The script that they want people to believe. The Cuban Revolution, the Namibian Revolution, according to them, responded to just a moment in history, a generation in history. And according to them, when that generation passed, the revolution will cease to exist, both in Cuba and in Namibia and in Venezuela <coughs> and everywhere there is a progressive movement. They put their money in the bet that once those leaders as Fidel Castro, as Sam Yoma, cease to exist, nobody else will carry the flags. Well, guess what? They are wrong. Both in Cuba and in Namibia, there are new generations that feel inspired by the example of Comrade Fidel Castro, by the example of Nelson Mandela, by the example of Comrade Sandy Yoma, and a new generation that is willing to sacrifice their lives to keep going forward <coughs> with this beautiful social project that we in both countries represent. They would like to go back in history, and that is why Today, you don't see any uh, big media making reference to Puito Conovale, for example. For them, that battle didn't exist. When you see the media of the empire, they want to offer a completely different history of Africa that erase the role of our patriots, erase the role of the Cuban 
internationalist. It's a completely different history. And that is why we felt so encouraged yesterday when we visited the museum and saw all the display showing the history of Namibia and the, the history of the Swapo struggle and the struggle of the Namibian people through centuries. That's why we felt so encouraged when we visited the Apartheid Museum in South Africa. Because we need to teach the new generations about our past. We need to let them know, keep reminding 